Hello, everybody. Mr. The Best Man here, bringing you the final Minecraft video. And in the beginning video, I told you how to get your feet on the ground, and how to get your tools in your house. And in the middle video, gave you some stuff to work towards, like building a farm for yourself, harvesting animals, building a bigger, more elaborate house, house, house. And uh, just kind of doing whatever you want and progressing towards better overall equipment, uh, better overall items. And now this video is going to cover kind of what you do once you get to the end of the game. Or once you reach those diamond items. And firstly, that's what we're going to talk about is you want to find diamond. Diamond is like the end of game item for Minecraft. And I have some diamond somewhere right there. Uh, so that's what diamond looks like. You mine it with an iron pickaxe. And diamond is like the, like I said, the end game item you want to work towards. It is the strongest material uh, by far. Will outlast anything. Uh, a diamond pickaxe also can mine anything. And that includes obsidian, which we'll uh, talk about further. It is very, very durable. Uh, making a diamond suit of armor gives you tons and tons of defense uh, obviously that's very costly in the diamond department as it uh, takes up a bunch and bunch of diamond but uh, very very powerful and that's really one of the biggest things you want to work towards one of the big things about the mining overall like and diamond also get is found uh, near lava near the bottom of your world but that's that's the whole reason really uh, that you mine you want to you want to find that iron you want to find that diamond and once you have it 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 just makes your life so much easier uh, but keep in mind you, when you're walking around with your diamond stuff be very very careful that you don't drop it in lava or lose it had that happen to me uh, as you'll see I don't have any of my diamond stuff anymore I kind of uh, fell into some lava and lost it all but what else do you want to do? Well, once you have the diamond, you want to make a, a, a diamond pickaxe. Then you want to mine obsidian, uh, which is found where lava and water meet. And obsidian lets you build a portal. And this is the nether portal. And you can look it up more uh, on various websites. But the nether portal is basically a portal that takes you to kind of like an endgame zone for Minecraft. And uh, we'll just hop in there real quick. entering the nether and this is the nether uh, it's basically the underworld of minecraft it's a very unpleasant place as you can see uh, its ground floor is made of lava it has pigmen zombie pigmen rather and flying squid like fellas in the sky and uh, really there's only a couple of reasons to come here. Uh, one is to get the netherrack, and netherrack is this redstone right here. Uh, it's similar to dirt in uh, its ability to be mined, but uh, the interesting part about netherrack, which I do actually have a piece right here, uh, if we can just grab, oh, right that will work, is if you, uh, you're supposed to be able to light netherrack on fire. I don't know why this is not lighting on fire. Hmm. Well, the point is, you can light netherrack on fire when maybe you have to take it back to the human world. You can also mine this ore here, which is glowstone. Uh, you apparently do need a pickaxe for that. Let me just grab the pickaxe. There it goes. So you can mine that for uh, for glowstone, and four, four pieces of glowstone will let you make a new block. And glowstone uh, is very, very bright. Extraordinarily bright. One glowstone, I'd say, is about equivalent to three to four torches. So it's very, very useful. And uh, these guys actually, oddly enough, even though they have swords, are docile unless otherwise attacked. Very similar to spiders. Uh, you could also mine lava if you really, really wanted to. And the third item, which I'm going to try to get to... Here's a, there's a good example of some netherrack on fire. The third item is right there. So I'm, I'm hesitant to go over there because I don't want that guy to see me, but 
Uh, that is uh, sand. Uh, void sand, I believe it's called. Let me let me just take a bunch of damage and go over here and check real quick, because I want to give you as accurate information as I can. And that was us being shot at. Uh, these guys shoot. Oh! Yeah. Big, big fireballs that explode at you. What we'll do is we'll dip right... Okay. Soul sand. And uh, actually, the interesting thing about soul sand... Uh, that's kind of creepy. Is when you walk on it, it slows you down. Poof. You'll notice I instantly just slow down. Well, watch this. Whoop, speed up. Slow down. So you can mine this and use it as like a trap for, uh, in your world. Or other such things. <clears throat> but that's really it right now, currently in the nether. Uh, this is, of course, at Minecraft's launch on the Xbox 360. So... What you can and cannot do in the nether may very well change in the future. So I can't really guarantee that this will be or always will be the ex exact way as it is now. But currently, back in the real world, the nether really is the end of the game uh, as it stands on the 360 version of Minecraft. Once you have your diamonds, there is really not much else you can get to improve yourself diamond armor diamond weapons that's about it uh, once you go into the nether that's pretty well the pinnacle of your exploration the very last thing you can do is really just start going crazy on the world build whatever crazy contraptions you want a flaming sky fortress i'm building a giant tower that's going to be a lighthouse a log cabin with a glass roof whatever you want you can really do whatever once you have the diamond stuff it makes mining super super easy you can make whatever you want however you want and that's really what minecraft comes down to and i've said multiple times is uh although there is that sense of adventure and exploration it really is just video game lego just build and do whatever you want and uh just work towards goals in the meantime so uh yeah that's that's about it I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy Minecraft, and we will see everyone next time.